Today, we're making a healthy, high-protein meal for the entire party. This recipe is not only easy to put together, but each slider clocks in at 185 calories with 17 grams of protein. If you have an event or a party coming up and you wanna stick to your diet but still make the foods fun, then I'm telling you, this is a recipe worth checking out. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got ourselves a banger of a video today. Hopefully, y'all are ready. I saw something similar to this on the Tasty YouTube channel, and I figured it'd be really easy to put an anabolic twist on it. So if y'all are ready to get this started, and let's head off to that kitchen. Come on. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna love how easy this comes together. We need a large baking dish and we need a couple pounds of ground beef. Now, when it comes to the beef, we need to make sure we're using 96% lean. This is gonna be the lowest calorie ground beef you can buy. It's gonna eliminate a lot of that fat, a lot of those calories and give us even more protein. And what I have here is 996 grams or two pounds of this. We're just gonna place all of this down on our baking dish. Now, once we got it in here, it's time to season it. I'm gonna start with a couple grams of onion powder and add in around a couple grams of garlic garlic powder, around a couple grams of ground mustard, and then finally about a gram or so of some black pepper. And then once all the seasonings are on here, I'm just gonna go in by hand and mix everything together. And keep in mind, I did not add salt to this. Now, I'm not the type of person that's gonna tell you not to add salt to your food. But right now, I am trying to drop weight. When I have extra salt in my diet, it can mess up my weigh-ins a little bit. So I'm omitting the salt here, but if you're cooking for other people and you're not worried about water weight for a couple days, then throw salt in here and it'll spice these up even more. And then once we got Got it seasoned and mixed up. What we're gonna do is go in by hand and press this into the bottom of our baking dish. I'm just going in, patting it down, get them edges. And once we got it to about right here, we're looking pretty good. Now we just wanna toss this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. 20 is gonna leave the inside a little pink. If you want your burger more well done, 25 is where you wanna be. All right, that's doing its thing. Let's move on to the next step. And when it comes to our buns, we will be using original Hawaiian sweet rolls. This is the party pack that consists of 24 rolls and they are 90 calories a piece. So we're just gonna go in, remove it from the packaging, grab a cutting board and place our sliders right on it. Now this recipe is gonna yield about 15 sliders. So we are gonna have to do a little surgery. What I'm gonna wanna do is cut four off from one end using my knife, bingo. And then I'm gonna go in and cut five off from this side. And perfect. Now we have some leftovers we can save for later or if you're like me, you'll just feed it to the dog. So now we're sitting here with 15 slider rolls, but we gotta turn them into top and bottom buns. What I'm gonna do is get my knife, start at one end and very slowly go right down the middle and separate these in half. This is obviously not difficult to do, but I do recommend a little patience. You wanna turn out pretty and even, you gotta take your time. And if you're patient with your knife, you should be able to lift the top off just like this. Now we're just gonna take our top buns, set them off to the side. Then I'm gonna grab another large baking dish, hit it with nonstick, then we'll set our bottom bottom buns right down in here, close to the middle. We just pulled our meat out of the oven and it is looking good. What I recommend is using a pair of tongs, getting up in there underneath the meat, grabbing it, and then transferring it over onto our slider rolls. And if you pay attention, we cut those slider rolls perfectly and that could not be a better fit. And now on top of our beef, we're gonna spread out 84 grams of white onions. And keep in mind at this part, you could kind of add whatever you wanted to spice it up. It's gonna go back in the oven. So whatever you put on here, as long as it's not gonna get goofy in the oven and you don't mind it heated up, you can literally spread it on here and customize this to your liking. And now we add some cheese and a lot of past videos. I use fat-free American cheese, but I get a lot of comments with people saying they can't find it. So I found another lower calorie alternative to regular cheese, and that is simply Velveeta 40 calorie cheese. We'll need about six slices, and we're just gonna evenly put them on top of our beef. And when I'm crunching the numbers for these recipes, as you can see, everything fits perfectly. I want zero waste on here, and I want every bite to count. And boom. And now we're just gonna put our top buns back on, and Keep in mind when you do this, make sure you have it the same way it was when you cut it off, the same direction and everything. That's gonna make everything match up on the bottom. And then finally, to make these a little prettier, I'm gonna spray the tops with zero calorie butter spray. Then I'll just use a little brush to rub this in. And then finally, to give it that actual authentic cheeseburger look, I'm just gonna sprinkle some toasted sesame seeds on top of our bun. And then before we pop this back in the oven, I am gonna wrap it in foil. This is gonna make sure those top buns don't get scorched and they retain that softness. And now this just goes back in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes on 350 degrees. That cheese is gonna melt and these are gonna be excellent. Whoop. Boom. And there we go. Guys, losing weight, building muscle, eating good foods is not a complicated process. It comes down to just having the knowledge, knowing what you gotta do, the tweaks you gotta make, having the recipes in your arsenal to succeed. And as much fun as this recipe is and as good as it's gonna be, I have a million more 
on this channel and a ton more in my cookbook. The RJF Anabolic Cookbook available at the first link in my description. I make this whole process super easy. I tell you what to weigh out, what to buy, step-by-step -step instructions, everything you need to succeed. I always try to preach this on the channel, but this whole process is not complicated. Eat the foods you love, hit your calorie goal, and those results come no matter what. Hit that link down below to check it out. And now we're just waiting on these to finish. Let's go. All right, baby, we just pulled these out of the oven and everything is looking great. The smells are tremendous, the cheese is melted, the buns are nice and fluffy and warm. All that's left to do is to grab our knife and cut these into sandwiches. Boom, boom. And check it out, the perfect little anabolic slider. Cooked beef, melted cheese, onion, toasted sesame seeds on top, the sweet Hawaiian roll, literally, it's perfect. And then we're left with 15 mini sliders. Folks, if you got a party and you're trying to feed multiple people, or you wanna have a fun, healthy, creative appetizer, I really don't think you can beat the simplicity and overall perfection that is this one. Do me a favor, guys, if you made it this far into the video and you got a good idea or you have something you wanna try, you're feeling inspired, smash that thumbs up button for me comment down below what kind of recipes you want to see me make or just leave a comment for the algorithm hit that subscription button if you're not subscribed and ladies and gentlemen i think we got some sliders to try out let's go This smells so good, I cannot wait to dive in. But before we do this, if you're not a fan of regular protein bars, right now we have quite possibly the best tasting protein bar you've ever had in stock, the white chocolate fruity cereal crunch. I'm telling you, this ain't like a regular protein bar. You're gonna bite into it and you're gonna have a hard time convincing yourself that it's anything but a candy bar. It tastes that good. Finalbosswomans.com, code RGF10, saves you 10%. And I promise you try it out, you're gonna love it. All right, let's get down to business, man. I'm gonna take this one right here. I've been having my eye on her. Got that beef, melted cheese, the onions. Ooh, baby. Three, two, one. It is so hard to beat a good cheeseburger. I mean, cheeseburgers are universally loved. When you keep it simple, you throw that sweet Hawaiian roll on, you got that melted cheese, the onions, and the seasonings. I mean, folks, I'm having a hard time even thinking that this is something healthy I could be eating and fit right into my diet. And one of the best parts about this recipe when you're making it is that the bottom bun and the top bun don't get soggy. When you make the beef first, in the baking pan, all the grease stays in that pan. You transfer it off, all the grease, a lot of that fat kind of gets removed, but you're still left with a juicy piece of meat, but it's not causing the bottom buns to fall apart and get soggy. That bun is totally intact. Mmm, wow. All day, people. You made this for a party and you didn't tell anybody that it was better for you, higher in protein, less grease, less fat, lower calories. They're not gonna have any idea and I guarantee you won't have any left over. I guarantee that. Now, if you make this recipe exactly how I did it, per slider, keep in mind, these are thick boys. Per sandwich, what you end up with is 185 calories, only five grams of fat, 17 grams of protein, 18 grams of carbs. Per slider, I mean, come on, man. I don't think there's many appetizers you'd find at a party that are gonna do better than that. And this is extremely easy to whip up. You guys saw it. Took a little bit of time in the oven, but the overall process to create this many sandwiches is, is not hard. So if you follow what I did, you can easily have your next party appetizer prepared. You can make this as dinner for your family. You can impress the girlfriend with a bunch of mini burgers. I mean, the sky's the limit. All it takes, like I always say, if you wanna take control of your body, your nutrition, your weight loss, all of that, it all starts in the kitchen. And it doesn't hurt to use a few tips, get a little inspiration, make some of these recipes recipes and put it to work for yourself. Cause I'm telling you, you hit your calorie goal for a week and you follow these recipes, you're going to see results no matter what. It happens quick. Not that you're going to lose 60 pounds in a week, but once you start that positive trend downwards on weight loss, you start looking in the mirror, you're feeling better. You get addicted to the process. And that's half the battle. When you love what you do, when you love the food, you love the results. I mean, how do you stop? You know what I mean? It's like a drug, except it's one that's actually doing your body some good. While I'm sitting here, I'm going to have three of these sandwiches. That is going to equal over 50 grams of protein, a little over 500 calories. If I keep my meals structured like that throughout the day, it's gonna put me a little over 2,000 calories, over 200 grams of protein, exactly where I personally wanna be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the final bite right here. About to get it done. Mm. For me, this recipe is an easy 10 out of 10. You get a lot of food, you got good macros, you got high protein, it's great for a party, an appetizer, family dinner, whatever you wanna do, and you're not getting all the grease and calories from regular burgers. So these are just so convenient, so easy, and honestly, you can make this recipe, put it in Tupperware, and for about two to three days, these would be good in the fridge. You could re-microwave them, keep them going, it's decent for meal prep. So yeah, you gotta make this, you gotta tag me on Instagram, preferably on your story, let me know what you think. My cookbook just hit over 200 pages, loaded down with 
recipes just like this. Dieting does not have to be a boring process. That's not to be something where you're eating foods you don't actually enjoy. When you love what you do, it is really hard to fail. And with this cookbook in your pocket telling you exactly what you gotta do, I really don't think with this you can do anything wrong. So hit that link in my description, or if you already got it, go get your updated copy, because this is now in there. Thank you guys, as always, for the support on the channel. It means a lot to me. Smash that thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. We out of here, baby.